I think this is what this program has been about. It is about us being able to recognize that as much as we need to reform and change ourselves, we also need to reform and change our society. So I'm going to end this presentation on volunteerism very quickly, but are there any comments before we move on to the next part of it, inshallah? No? Just one Yeah. Yep. Sometimes you may have the person who may not be able to communicate effectively wanting to, for instance, chair program or to be able to do a presentation uh, and, and you need to manage that situation and have a difficult conversation. How do you, how do you treat yourself? Right. So, again, it's, it's a lot of times people do not have, they have a lack of insight in terms of who they are and what their skills are, skill sets are. Uh, and this is, and it's, it is a difficult conversation, but sometimes you have to do little things outside the sphere of, of your big occasion to be able to highlight to them the need, their needs, so that they can recognize their needs. And this could be by, by simple feedback. So it could be that you're planning a meeting and you're saying, and this person is saying, well, look, I would like to do X. Or I would like to, let's say, chair this program. So you say, okay, that's fine. So you might decide, well, look, you know, for the next um, 15 minutes in this small meeting, committee meeting that, that we're having here, let's see how you chair the program. So you give them the, 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 the opportunity to do something. And then you provide, you get some sort of feedback. Then suddenly they realize, hold on, I don't really have the type of skills which are required even to chair a small little meeting, more or less the, 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 you know, the skills to share something which is far bigger. Now, within the context of that meeting, the mistakes made can be, you know, can be rem quickly remedied because other team members, they understand what's happening. But it could be that if that may not be the case in a much larger event. Once the event takes place and people make mistakes, then you can't remedy those events as easily. So that's, that's the problem. So I think a lot of it has to do with, with, with trying to people, getting people to acknowledge who they are, what type of skills they are, and also recognizing that you do not always have to be in the forefront, you know, to be doing something which is important to an event. You, do, you can well be somebody in the background, and what, they do on, what you do in the background is far more important to what, um, what takes place on stage. And you may well know that for instance, let's say you might see, let's say in a football game, footballers on the field, footballers on the field, and now there is a whole new concept in leadership that talks about, you know, we talk about the coach, you know, like for instance, the coach in the team, and, and then you have the players, or the, or the um, what, what do they call them now, like uh, Arsenal, who, who would they call the, 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 the team? Huh? Not the franchise, the, 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 the chap who is in charge of, of the team. The manager, the manager. So they used to describe them as the manager, and then you had the team players. Now there's a recognition that what takes place outside the football pitch is far more important than what takes place on the field. Such that even while the players are playing, if you were to ask yourself the question, who is the leader? Many people would now tell you that the leader is the manager. Even though he's not playing in the game, he is the manager. And that is why often you find that they are the ones who either take the, 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 the you know, sort of the, the credibility for something good which has been done or they fall, as the case may be. All right. I want to end here, but th this, this book here is called The Desire to Serve by Dr. Iqbal Yunus is something that if you have the opportunity, it's something that you can refer to, which talks a lot about what I'm talking about here, inshallah. Uh, Dr. Iqbal Yunus is one of those who um, is very keen about what we are doing. And in fact, um, inshallah, he, he did say that in one of our future events, he will try to attend, inshallah. He's based in, uh, he's based in the United States. 
It's available online um, on Amazon. Yeah. Okay. So what I want to do now is, 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 some, is something which is action-oriented. So I want you to gather in groups of countries that you have come from. Okay, so the, all the Trinidadians, if you can gather on this side, the Jamaicans, you can find somewhere, a corner somewhere, and the Guyanese could go around that table, inshallah. Okay, so what's the plan? Yeah? And the, the, the Belize guys can stay with the, the Jamaicans, okay? Belize and Jamaica in one place, and the Trinidadians in one place. So what we're going to look at now is that we are going to look at what do you think is the next step after how we can use, where do you think that we should go forward? Because we now want to be able to build not just a team looking at various projects, we want to have one project, okay? We want to look at ourselves as one team. Can we form a unified team that will be able to work together? on a common cause, or common causes, as the case may be. So we have the Trinidadians coming together, that's, that's great. And the, the Jamaicans, if you could just move aside a little bit so that you'll give the Trinidadians more room. <laughs> where's, the, uh, where's the Jamaicans? The Jamaicans are outside. You can go outside if you want. Okay, so do you understand what we're about? I'm, I'm gonna come to... You, you understand? You, you, you know what we're about, so... so yeah. Okay. You're going? Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Huh? Yeah, you can. Uh, I don't know where he is. You can. The English and the English and the English and nomads. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, one two people have left, but I think um, you are the guys who have been here for the last um, five days, really. And it's about trying to think. Um, of course, we've experimented one one or two little projects, but the idea behind the projects really was was more to more, was more to look at some of the the underlying problems, rather than actually physically finishing something. We, we knew well in advance that the only group that was best placed to finish anything was the Guyanese, because they have decades